Hey what's going on guys, Cumbersome TCG here, back again with a brand new video. And today for you guys, I'm going to be doing some combo tutorials and maybe a couple test hands with Christrons. Uh, it's all based on the deck profile that I made um, in my last video. So uh, feel free to check that out guys. Um, the list um, that I'm using here will be at the end of the video as well, um, in case you haven't seen that video. Anyway, um, let's get right into the video. So the first uh, test hand I'll be showing you guys simply starts off with just the Genix Undyne and nothing else in hand. Uh, so we'll start the uh, combo by going normal summoning uh, Genix Undyne. Effect, it will send a water monster from deck to grave for cost to add a Genix controller. So we'll go and do that. So we'll uh, send Rosnix to grave to add the Genix controller to hand. Then we're going to banish the Rosnix. This will give us a token. Then we're going to link that token away for a Link Spider. Now we're going to use Link Spider's effect here to special summon the Genix controller. Then we're going to synchro summon with the Genix controller and the Undyne. Right. To make Coral Dragon. Then we're going to use these two monsters, like those away, to make the Halky Fibrax. Then we can go Halky Firebrex Chain Link 1, Coral Dragon Chain Link 2 to draw a card, so we'll draw a card. And then we we'll use Halky Firebrex effect here. Just special summon out our beat. Now this is a very basic hand, uh, very basic uh, end board, but it is still quite effective for what it does. So say for example we've passed turn to our opponent, and they've normal summon a monster. We can then use Rion here. Special out the rose next, and then they will both go to the to our deck because uh, of Rion's effect. And we're going to synchro summon an FA Don Dragster, which will yield us a negate. So, say for example, FA Don Dragster has, uh, has negated something, making it a level 5 as it's normally a level 7. We can then use Halky Firebrex effect here. So, we're, it's going to banish itself to summon out. So, there's two options here we could either summon out. A Quandax. So we can special summon a Quandax. And then we can use Quandax and FA Dawn Dragster uh, to special out Christian Phoenix. Now, this is especially good against uh, back row decks because on summon, um, it'll banish all the spell and traps our opponent controls and in their grave. However, say for example we're up against a combo based deck, a deck that doesn't really use its back row. That's not really good to us. So instead, we're going to uh, summon out the Shooting Riser Dragon. Now, we're going to use Shooting Riser Dragon effect here. It's currently at level 7. Uh, we're going to drop it by 2 levels. So, we're going to send the Parastor Toilet to Grave, or any other level 2. Now we have 2 level 5s on field. If we have negated something with Epic Dark Trackster, if we haven't and it's still a level 7, then we would need to drop um, Shooting Riser Dragon by a total of 4 levels, so you could send the Rosnix instead. Either way, we can then Synchro Summon, and then we can summon out Satellite Warrior, which would uh, destroy 3 cards on our opponent's side of the field and make it 5500. So that's just a simple combo of one card. But you might ask yourself, say for example, you've drawn the Rosnix. Uh, so let's let's just quickly set up our hand here. Now you might think to yourself, say for example, you have the Undyne. You're like, yes, you've drawn your card for turn, it's an Undyne. It's like, yes, I have combo. But now, instead, you have also drawn the Rustix. So you might be asking yourself, well, how do I combo off this, off this now? Quite simple, a uh, different line of play, but it still results in the same end point. Uh, so we're going to normal summon the Undyne here again, like last time. But instead of sending the Rosnix, because obviously we can't, we're going to send a Soul Fefton instead. So then this will give us our controller. Now we're going to use Soul Fefton effect here. We're going to pitch the Rosnix, special summon Soul Fefton. Then we're going to use Soul Fefton's effect to destroy itself. That will then trigger Sol Fefner to search us a card. I said special summon a Christian from deck. 
end this particular sequence because we don't have any other real cards in hand. Um, I'm simply just going to go with Citri. I'm just going to special summon the Citri. Now, we can banish the Rosnix, which will give us our token. Uh, and that token will be linked away for the Link Spider. And then it's a similar line of play again, where we're just going to go through the motions here. Uh, to get us a Coral Dragon. This will be linked away. Alky Firebrex Chain Link 1, Coral Dragon Chain Link 2, so we're going to draw a card, and then we're going to special summon out our view. So this is our endboard. Slightly different, but you can see that we still have the Rion, we still have that, um, we still have that life, um, like last time. So we can still go through the exact same sequence of plays last time. However, we have the Citri, which opens up to some other plays. Uh, so for example, say we have now passed turn to our opponent. It's our opponent's turn. Um, so what we can do here is let's let's start off the Rion. Let's put something at the Rosnix. These two will then be Synchro Summon. Or Dawn Draxer. I apologize, these are meant to go to the deck because of the effect. Oops. Top of deck. Um, now here, uh, we, we, we have sort of multiple lines of play here. Um, the line of play, I think that I would personally go for. In this scenario, um, is I will actually banish the Hulk. So, with most of these circumstances, we're going to assume if a Dawn Dragster he has used it in the game. Um, it's just the simplest way of doing it. That's why we play. That's why we make Dragster in the first place. Um, so we're going to assume it's level five and it's used as a game. So we have five, six, seven. So we're going to banish the Hulk Firebrex. So we have seven levels on field. Let's just keep that in mind. We're going to banish the Halky Firebrex and special summon out Shooting Riser Dragon. So, 5, 6, 7. Shooting Riser Dragon is 7. I'm actually going to send Soul Theft into the grave. Let's make it a 2. Now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 2 tuners on the field. This will then allow us to special summon out Quarren Gandrax which will nuke all of our opponents uh, stuff. Like, it will, sorry, it will banish uh, three monsters from their field or from their grave um, uh, because three material was used to super summon it. Really good, really uh, deadly against a uh, lot well, combo decks and stuff like that. However, um, that is not the only line of play that we have here. So let's get out, let's, let's move back to how it was. We have the Halky Fabrics out here. Instead, we can actually banish Halky Fabrics. And if we wanted to, we could summon out a Quindex. And then we could then grab our Genix Controller or our Genix Undyne, probably just the Undyne, with the Citrine. Then we can Synchro Summon for. The Amitrix, then we can use the Quandax and the Amitrix uh, to Synchro Summon into our Phoenix. So this option, once again, is really good against backup decks, and it's better than if you just open the Undyne without the Rosnix, as you still get to keep your Dawn Dragster. Uh, anyway guys, uh, last thing that we'll do, we'll just go into a couple test hands. Sort of um, you guys to understand my mentality and how I try to work on my plays, as well as just you know just seeing what an average hand will look like. So this is our hand for start. Um, we've drawn a sword frog, so that's essentially really good uh, for us because it means that we're at least going to have a totally awesome on field. So I think I'll start with that. So we'll special summon the sword frog, which will we'll just then uh, dump another swap. Uh, after that, we'll bounce swap the back to our hand. And then we'll just do that again. This time we'll send this micro to grave. So, then we can then 
So we have our Salt Frog engraved, we can now send our run to it. We can then banish that Salt Frog. Special summon out that run to it. Now the reason why I like doing this first is because this is a line of play that they have to stop. They have to negate all the Salt Frog shenanigans, which then allows us... So if they don't negate it, we have an Omni Negate that lets us continue to play through some other interruption that our opponent might have. Or it baits, negates, so then we can so then we can resolve our other points. So now after that, we're going to use self Fafnir effect here. So I'm going to special summon it by pitching the Rosmix, and then that will destroy itself. So then we can summon out a. Uh... I'm just trying to think about what's optimal here. Ah, okay, so yeah, so we'll use the Sulfafnir here, you, and then we can actually special summon out our Citrine. Now we could leave it as that. We can special summon out a, special summon out a Rion instead, but there's actually a lot more that we can do here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna banish the Rosnix. That'll give us a token. And we're actually gonna banish the Smiger as well. That'll, that'll let us search. So we want to search for our Christian Spell a Trap. In this case, it is always Christian Impact. Now, we're going to actually link these two monsters away. Because if you notice, Hockey Fabrics is just two monsters, including a tuner, so the token is fine. It doesn't need an effect monster. Then we can use Hockey Fabrics effect here. The special summon out Rion. <laughs> And then, uh, once again guys, Christians is very toolboxy in how you respond to your opponent. So then, uh, depending on how what they do, we have, we're have we open to a, uh, a series of different plays that would uh, help us out here. We also have access to our White Howling, so we can target a spell in our opponent's grave, banish it, and negate the rest of the spells for that turn. And we've also got a Christian Impact, so we can get one of our banished uh, Christian monsters and special summon onto a side of a field, giving us more material for other um, synchro summons and stuff like that. Let's quickly do one more test time guys, and then I'll call it a wrap from here. So this hand is an example of one of the unfortunate hands that you're gonna get. Sadly this hand actually doesn't really do anything at all. I'm gonna be honest here, like at most you'll be able to send to make Smiger pop itself. So, uh, like we can do that. Like we can go Smiger, Effects, to destroy itself, uh, view, and then we can like, then we could like potentially summon out a Citri, um, and then uh, get the Amitrix on field. Sadly, that's not really that good. That's just an unfortunate hand that you might get. Uh, a brick, for instance. But that's just how it is sometimes. Like, you're always going to get that with a deck. No deck is perfect. Um, however, this hand, once again, is pretty good. Uh, pretty much anything with Swap Frog is good because it bins all your other Christians so you can use their grave effects. Um, let's see if we can get a different kind of hand here. Something. Yeah, okay, we'll actually play with this hand. So, this is a. I won't. It's like. It's a hand that's mid-range. I wouldn't say it's a bad hand, but neither is it good as you have multiples of Christians. But we can still figure out what we can do here. So first things first, we're going to bin the Thyster, just push some out the Soul Fafner. Soul Fafner's effect is going to trigger here, so it's going to pop itself. And we're going to special summon out our Citrine. Next. Um... So we actually banish the Thyster in here to grab a card from our to grab a Christian from our uh, deck and add it to our hand. Might actually add hmm. I've got the Pastor Toil here. This seems pretty solid. We don't really need to get the Smiger because we've already hard drawn the Christian Impact anyway. Uh, so the next thing that uh, we're going to do here 
I'm going to summon him. I'm going to link these two monsters away for our Hockey Firebrax. Hockey Firebrax will then trigger. So we'll be able to get out a. Yeah, I'll get out another Citri here. I feel like this plays fine. Then we can set our spell trap. Um, we've got pretty standard setup. Nothing crazy. We don't really have Toad. We don't really have anything else really going on. Um, but we still will be able to interrupt our opponent a fair amount of times. Uh, so we'll go through that right now. Uh, so the first thing that we can do here is say our opponent normal summon, so they do whatever. We can use Citri effect here. We can either special summon the Soul uh, which is an option, or we can actually special summon the Press Door Toil. I think I'm going to go with this play here. And then we're going to get us uh, a coin mix. Uh, these will actually be banished because of Citrus Effect. Now, the reason why I went for this play instead is because we can then just activate the Christian Impact to special summon out the Thy Sphere. So either way, we have access to a level 7 Synchro. However, by having the Quandax here instead, we're open to not just our FA Dawn Dragster, we're also open up to our Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, uh, which is like a compulsory when, uh, when we special summon it. Um, and then from there on out, guys, uh, you've just got your classic uh, Hauke Firebrax plays with your Shooting Riser Dragon, and that's pretty much it. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this combo tutorial. I hope it's really helped you guys out. A uh, quick look at the deck profile before uh, we close it off here. So this is more or less the profile for the video. Uh, one slight difference is that I was actually playing two Korn Gandrax instead of and one Quandax when in the video. It was the other way around, so I actually only played. Uh, I played two Quan decks instead. Uh, this is something that I'm sort of flip flopping a little bit on, um, but this is pretty much the deck list, guys. Hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, please uh, like and subscribe for more content in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.